despite the incessant denial of being linked to drug deal deals in the United States of America, record shows that Bola Metinubu appeared before an Illinois Northern District Court on the 10th of April 1993 with case number 193CVO4483D, presided over by a district judge, John A. Nordberg. In the ruling of the presiding judge, John A. Nordberg, he ordered that Bola Metinumbu forfeit 460,000 US dollar in a first heritage bank which bore Bola Metinumbu's name. The court order reads in parts. Hmm, that's a very, very long one. Well, minutes order 4 of 10. For 1993, by John, by an Honorable John A. Nordbeck, counsel for the plaintiff appeared, entered decree of forfeiture as to funds held by First Heritage Bank. It is ordered that the funds in the amount of $460,000 in accounts 2632267700 held by First Heritage Bank in the name of Bola Tinumbu are forfeited to the United States Postman's. To 21 USC 881A, 6 and 18, USC 981. It is ordered that First Heritage Bank shall issue a check in the amount of 460,000 payable to Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago, terminating case mailed notice. A Nigeria investigative journalist, David Udeni, who a few days ago wrote a viral article about Bola Tinubu's past involvement in drug deals. Provided the link to Bola Ahmed in case file of forfeiture of drug money. Hmm. Okay. And there was some people tell you that guy, it does not matter. Did, did, did. Of course, he has already he has he already baggage, a lot of baggages in Nigeria. That one is just for you to you know to buttress what uh people are even talking about the atrocities being committed in Nigeria. And that's why they don't even care. They don't they don't care. And that's why they come on on on, on you know, come on the streets and be talking like street people, talking like, you know, by their foot, you shall know them. By their foot, you shall know them. Some of them have done a lot of things unpalatable. They will not want to go legit. But some of them cannot even hide their past records. The other day, Renu Mokri came out and said, they should sue him if he's lying. I think uh, David Uden is not uh, like uh, Renu Mokri, who is a uh, Politically affiliated to one party or the other, you not think that oh maybe because uh, of this or that, but this uh, day David Uday is a investigative journalist who is neutral. He's neither here nor there when it comes to politics. He says things the way they are. Imagine a documented drug lord being Nigeria's next president. Shine your eyes, Nigerians. If Tinubu doesn't react to this in the next few days, then the story is true. Then. Whose time does he have to rule? Only you. Okay. We all know that he is a drug dealer. Imagine how much he pays Tout to deliver drugs for him. If this story is a lie, Senator Tinubu should sue Mr. David Udeni, or else many will believe the story and election campaign season is here. Let him do that to prove his innocence. How does that affect his presidential ambition looking for excuses to disqualify him? Can you imagine? Or Rotele Inso? You are not even well at all. Though. See the kind of question you are asking. This Tinubu failed in every qualification. Story for the girls, Jagaban all the way. Akoi APC. Eh? No be Akoi APC or na PDP again. No. <laughs> okay, Akoi Alumajiri. Your next four years will be worse than that than what you have now, unless you rethink fast. Just like the case of Columba drug lord Escobar Pablo trying to gain power to establish more of his drug business into the country by wishing the brains of Colombians and giving them money to protect him against U.S. government. Tinumbu, you cannot achieve your goals. Nigeria don't wake up. A criminal shamelessly wished to become Nigeria president the discredited APC government of crooks has been covering all manners of criminalities. This is a payback time. 
all the lies and propaganda he did to Nigerians are coming back to haunt him. Wake up, collect your money. I think uh, this uh, there was a time I don't know what really happened. This there was a case that this uh, David Uday even talked about, and at the end of the day, the TVC, the ladies on the views, they invited him to come and say what he knows about it and not. I'm sure they're not going to invite him on this matter again. They will just they will share this aside. I think we can see who who some people are killing themselves to bring as a president of this country. I hope uh, we will not say turn Nigeria to Colombia. Don't mind them. This is the era of demarketing one another by the politicians. But the details here appears convincing. Hmm. But wait a minute. So why always this man from one controversy to another endlessly? If he had known, he would have remained kingmaker and be honored. I thought as much. He thought that governorship election is the same with presidency election. He has already responded to this since 2023. You can Google it. One of the AD gubernatorial aspirants brought this up and the USA Information Service responded and said it was cleared of any crime for many for money laundry and drug-related cases. But you people think the USA are fools that they would be allowing him easy access and exit out of their country if he has a drug-related case. Hmm. Another will be needed here. The stakes are higher here. Let's hear it again. We are in the area of electionary and anything can happen. Don't just absorb anything you hear online. Hook, like, and sinker. And if you do that, you are the biggest and unserious person. Hmm. Well, fake news article by Igbo people. Hmm. See, Grandma. Uludu. Unagoye, pansa, pansa. Just like I said, this one is just to, to, to buttress the ones that are already here in the, in Nigeria, they would deny everything. Everything, no, it's not, it's not so. It's not so. And that is why I will never even believe it. <laughs> all this uh, Nigerian, if, especially when you see some cases that are glaring, all this Nigerian judiciary, at times, they just cherry pick uh, what they want to talk about. The same way they exonerated James Iburi, but how far, how was it at the end of the day? We cannot see. They will tell you, you are clean, you are this, you are this, you are that. Like I said, he has a lot of, he has enough baggages here that can make Nigeria to say, no, no, we don't want to go through that route. So that one is just to buttress what Nigerians have been, have been insinuating. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.